Good morning, everybody. It's Deb here with Creative Life, and today we are going to do the walkthrough of the vertical 7x8 Joy to the World mini album that we made with the Graphic 45 collection. So, so I think it turned out pretty cute, and I hope that you all like it. So the top of the album is decorated with um, one of the cut aparts from one of the sheets. Um, it has two angels on it. And um, it's so pretty. Um, let me see. It looks like this. So this is one of the sheets that's in the collection. And I went ahead and fussy cut this one out. Stuck it on here. And then I did the season's greetings with the die cut that was sent to me. I fussy cut out the bells and rounded them off so they look like they were sticking up. So you could see them when I um, when you flip it open like this. Okay, so they look kind of like they're sticking up. And then um, here I just used some of the flowers that was sent to me. And then for the spine, I went ahead and um, used some of the beautiful uh, decorative lace that was sent to me and oh my gosh it's so pretty and um, then I went ahead and used one of the stickers backed it with black cardstock and cut it out and then used the bling from the Doris um, packet that I was sent and then placed the 2019 a year on that there so I think it looks so pretty so the back looks like this okay I use this pretty angel paper I just love this one and um, so if you love angels this is the collection for you I'm telling you it's full of angels and so pretty so we go ahead and you open it up okay because it is vertical everything is flipped upward okay so I went ahead and made a little pocket used some of the bling here oh let me glue that down and um, then I went ahead and used some of the cut apart cards here okay to stick in the pocket I also did a mat and neat this you could stick a 5 by 7 mat in here as well as 4 by 6 mats or whatever size you would like and then I just used some of my scrap pieces to um, decorate the front a little bit so when you put the picture on you just see some of the little decorative paper there so all right so I'm gonna slide this up here and then here is where we start our waterfalls this waterfall has five um, mats on it okay and I just decorated the front of each mat I didn't decorate the back if you want to decorate the front and the back of all of your waterfalls you will need to get two packets of the graphic 45 joy to the world collection paper pack okay so um, I went ahead and did bling down the side with one of the um, borders from the sheet and then I just used I had enough scraps in my pile to um, go ahead and cover the back of the arms so I did do that and then this is again these just flip up so there's your waterfalls and then you have a nice space back here for a nice mat or photo or whatever you want to put there and it is magnetized so you will need two packets of magnets okay here on this sheet okay the one thing that I want to tell you real quick before I show you um, anything further is that I did make a mistake <laughs> I know, I know, I, I, you know, I can't help it, gotta make a mistake somewhere, <laughs> so, um, so I did make a mistake on some of my pages, and I accidentally put my back pages upside down, the mats to the page itself, so they were upside down instead of right side up, like um, I tell you in the tutorial, to make sure that when you do your page, when you mat your pages down, you want to make sure that when you um, are decorating or putting your mats on your pages to flip them upward, okay? So your, um, this is the folded or the edge of your closed pocket, okay, for your uh, page. And you want to make sure that you put your mats on your pages uh, the correct way with the images the correct way okay and I didn't do that with a couple of mine so I ended up having I just to, to cover it up I just went ahead and edged it out with like this large mat <laughs> so 
<laughs> that's how that large mat got there <laughs> so um so you just want to make sure that you go ahead and um when you do the vertical album you do want to make sure that you pay attention to your images in which way they are facing okay and the best way to do that is that when you are laying down your top mat to the top of your page flip it over and then put your other one on okay so it's on the correct way all right so on this page we have a little um, I don't know you can, I don't know if it's called a waterfall but um, it's just a little pocket or booklet type thing and I thought it was really sweet so I put a large mat back here with a little banner and then did a little text dot with one of the little um, tags in the cut apart sheet here is a sticker that I stuck up here and then this just closes these are magnetized okay so it just closes like that so you have um, a couple of areas to put your pictures in here all right okay so for our second page we did a little pull tab um, area here and so this is just a um, tab where you pull it down and your book just opens up like this. We did add a magnet to this so um, it does open and close really well and it stays closed with your magnet okay so you don't have to worry about it flipping open or anything like that but I think it turned out so cute and I absolutely love it. Um, the one thing that I do want to tell you if you use bling on the side um, make sure that you cut it off like right at the edge of this last one. I went ahead and went up um, somewhat a little bit more on this right here. And it kind of, it doesn't catch all the way, but it, it sometimes it does. And so I would just go ahead and put either a little bit of bling, a little strip, not a lot. Okay. So other than that, it looks pretty good. So Behind the second page, we did a really beautiful little arm with some bling and then some lace. And we cut that lace apart and stuck it on either side of the border here that we cut out from the paper. And this opens up like this, okay? And there's the back of the arm. And then this has four of the mats. So there is one, two, three and four and then behind here I went ahead and stuck another mat with a little place for um, a picture and this is just a little tuck spot and I just love that angel the blue on this paper is so gorgeous you guys it's so pretty I love it so on the third page I went ahead and used some lace along the arms again with the beautiful um, bling that we got and then some flat back pearls I cut apart and stuck them in um, on the little squares of the bells so I'm just going to bring that up okay so just like that and I think it turned out so pretty now here on this page you have 20 little photos that you can put on this one so our arms open up like this okay and there's five here so it means that you have 10 so you have two, four, six, eight, ten, and then you have one more here that you can add a photo here, right? So there's ten there, and then that means that you have ten on the bottom here too. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, and so there's ten here, and then you have another picture you can stick back here, or maybe you know you want to do a little pocket or something or maybe a little tuck spot for maybe um, some memorabilia you know so I thought this turned out really pretty I like that and then um, here on the back of page three we go ahead and we have another waterfall and I went we went ahead and made a little um, belt loop right there okay and it just pops up like that okay and it slides in there just like that and this is one of the borders from the cut apart sheet and I just added some bling to that one it opens up like this and here you have five as well and these are all four by sixes so just to let you know they are large photo mats for your four by six photos okay 
So unless you want to trim them down, you can, but you don't have to. And so these just open up just like this. Now I did on some of these, I did not have a full sheet of the uh, paper to go all the way to the end. So I supplemented with some of the borders from the cut apart sheet. Okay. And um, I think it turned out pretty nice. So like this right here, this one, and I think there's a couple of more, this one here, I went ahead and had just a little tiny, this, this right here was what I had. And then I went ahead and added the border, I cut apart the borders from the cut apart sheet and stuck them on the sides. All right, just to make them um, the full length of my four by six mat. Okay, so there's that. On the fourth page, we go ahead and we do have another pull out, but this time it is horizontal, so it pulls out like this. So, um, you, again, these are four by sixes, so you have plenty of space for your four by six photos. And here, because there's six, you can fit twelve. Uh, no, well, there are six, but um, uh, there are six photo mats, but you get the front and the back, so there's two four, six, eight, ten, and eleven. So there's eleven places on here for you to fit your photos on there. Okay. Then on the back, I went ahead and did another um, uh, waterfall, small waterfall that lifts up and then one that folds down. So they kind of um, flip opposite of each other. So here we have our little arms and again I added the bling and then I went ahead and backed up some of the stickers to the black cardstock and stuck them in the middle of the arms and I think they look so cute. They look so pretty. So I love that. And so here these flip up like this and again I just used scraps to piece my the back of the arms together okay I just went ahead and just used scraps and I did have to piece some together which was okay because you know they're the back so no one's gonna see it <laughs> so and it actually looks like it blends so <laughs> so that's one thing that's really nice about this paper is that it kind of blends all together so it's really nice so here we have five here and five here so again you have uh, 20 all together to put little photos here so you have this one here here. Okay, that folds up like this. And then here, this is a three and an eighth by four and a half inch photo mat. And I just did a little cut apart here. And so you could stick a little picture back in through here or whatever you would like. And that folds down like that. And this one does the same thing. So it just kind of folds down like this. And then here you have another mat. And then here I went ahead and did a sticker, backed it up with some of the black cardstock and stuck it up there as a little tuck spot. So a picture can go right up underneath there. Okay. Just right underneath there like that. Okay. And then on the back, it's the same on the front of the book, which is has a pocket and it has mats. And I just stuck a little um, tag down in through here and this um, these are just all size mats so you can put any size mats back here you would like okay I need to glue these down so. all right so that is my album so I hope that you guys like it I hope you guys try it out I really like it and I'll probably be doing another one like this um, for something else and um, I already have some plans so <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me I thank you for all your support and encouragement and watching my my videos y'all I really appreciate it and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year thank you I will see you next year bye